some kind of mushroom, a record shop in Chesterfield, Derbyshire. The photograph was taken in 1973. It was in uh, Newbold Road, Chesterfield. I've been doing a lot of forensic work on this photo because I used to go in this record shop. I remember it better from when it stood in Stevenson Place. There was a guy who worked there who looked a bit like this guitarist here. He talked me out of buying Two Virgins by John and, and Yoko. He said, oh, you wouldn't like that. I did this foundation course in art and design, but really, most of my exposure to art and design had come from record sleeves, as it had for most of my contemporaries. And I think uh, an underlying reason for me to go to art school was I'd heard that John Lennon and Pete Townsend had been to art school, and uh, this was the place to realise your dreams and form a band or do something theatrical and spectacular like Upwind were doing. That's what fired off my imagination. These bands and the Beatles, their experimental films that they made, like Magical Mystery Tour. Steve Marriott in The Small Faces did the first concept album. This picture here is modelled on Steve Marriott. The top half is Steve Marriott, but he never wore these flares. But this waistcoat and this guitar pose is Steve Marriott. And concept albums were these LPs and uh, you get a collection of ideas put together. Ogden's Nut Gone Flake was the one the Small Faces did and then the, the Kinks did uh, Village Green Preservation Society. Looking at England, looking at a visions of England and then the Beatles of course, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band where they assumed a different persona and looked at their own images in a graveyard with all these historical figures like Aleister Crowley and William Burroughs and Oscar Wilde, they're all looking down on this grave of the Beatles. So this is sort of a place where imagination is formulated in, in the record shop. You've got this view of a whole new world assembled in these record sleeves. In the films, you've got these computer programs which will enhance the images. So you can take a photo like this and put it into a computer and look at these blurry records and it, it'll show you the records in, in sharp focus because I was wondering what was all the records in this record display. I'd taken these individual images and I'd put them into Google Images hoping that uh, Google Images could find similar images because you do this image search but it doesn't work that way. You just get these other blurred images. <laughs> so uh, I thought I'd try humans. So Almadorn's very distinctive. This record down here, that little blurry record here, Ziggy Stardust, David Bowie. And then I found another record when I was doing the dog walk the other day. I found this book called Dark Horse about George Harrison. And this one here is George Harrison's Dark Horse album. Plus Lottie went to art school. We went there because we sort of wanted to be in bands and be some sort of an artist, you know, this sort of seems like a cool thing to be. And they taught art differently in those days. There was sort of more room for experimentation. It wasn't all to do with money. Some kind of mushroom, you see. I'm looking at scale models. It's from this song, White Rabbit, by Jefferson Airplane. The mushroom can make you small or tall. Depends which side of the mushroom you eat. Travel in time and space is a, is a movement in scale because as memories recede, they get smaller and more blurred and less distinct. But we're trying to bring these blurred images back through time travel. This part of the body looks like Eddie Cochran, but the head is the head of David Bowie. I'm starting to model this in cardboard. It's funny that this record store here, the top half of the building is this mock Tudor with a burglar alarm and then English architecture, these black beams and then <laughs> modern windows. And I might extend it a little bit to show the brickwork of the adjoining buildings. In here, this is a bit of uh, 
continuity, the mushroom cloud. I've got a mushroom cloud on a model of Carlton Mansions.